Hi, it's Tess from l 2 Digital. Today I just want to show you how to set up a, a basic messenger bot using a tool called uh, ManyChat, which is probably one of the best uh, messenger bots out there. Well, so I'm told anyway, but I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I just want to show you how easy it is to, to really set up and, uh, and get into a conversation with uh, any prospects as well. The first thing I recommend you do is actually to to create a post on your Facebook page. So this is how it works. Even if you're going to do it organically or to actually use paid traffic, because you can then tell Facebook ads to select this post as well. So the first thing I do is yeah, write out the uh, the post. And importantly, make sure you actually uh, put down the keyword that you want someone to comment in. So this will actually trigger the bot as well. And it's also important to uh, to think about variations of the keywords. So you'd be quite surprised how many people spell yes incorrectly as well. So once that's done, uh, let's go over to to ManyChat. So within ManyChat, they've got a number of different tools and ways to connect your bot to your Facebook page, your website, your, your Facebook ads. But what we'll do is today we'll go on to create a growth tool. So if you go to growth tools on the left, Click New Growth Tool. <clears throat> and the one we want actually is the Facebook Comments. So if you select Facebook Comments, you can then go and select a post. So if you go in and select the post you've just created. So what I'll do is I'll just get the ID. And what you can then do is, so I actually got the ID from the from the URL. So I'll just show you quickly. Always visible. So it's this first figure after the posts uh, folder. So once you've put it in, all you need to then do is confirm it. And we recommend you only track first level comments as well. This is so that if any sort of replies happen, you don't want to trigger that off as well. So if you just hit that, uh, you can exclude any comments with the keywords as well, but pretend to leave that blank. And you basically want to then add your keyword that will trigger the message here. So what we do is we'll typically add yes in different formats. So as long as people start with the word yes at the start of any sentence, it will trigger the bot. So once you've put that in, Click next. <clears throat> you can then confirm uh, the message you want to send to once someone's come yes. So this is when they're actually taken to, to Facebook Messenger and they, they are come to with this. One thing to bear in mind is that is until someone actually replies back to this message and engage with the bot, that's when they'll be opted in. So anyone that sees this message and doesn't re reply back, they won't actually uh, get entered into a sequence. So what we try and do is ask them a question just to engage the conversation, even simple as how are you, or make it relevant to the to the post you've uh, put it out there, just so you can keep the conversation going. Once they've opted in, you can then actually start the bot, really. So <clears throat> what you want to do is send a message to everyone that replies. You could actually then have a standard message which welcomes them. So you could either just a generic thank you message, or you could actually create the sort of series of questions you want your bot to ask to engage in conversation here. Uh, another option is you could actually add them to a sequence where it'll send them a sequence, a series of messages over a certain time period. So if you think about sort of a, an email sort of drip sort of campaign, this works in a similar way, where you could actually send a message or a sequence of messages immediately, then send up an automatic follow-up later on. So. We can actually select Messenger Bot Demo. Uh, <clears throat> you can just hit Save and Activate. And then once that's done, uh, you're way to go, really. So I think once that post is live, you can, you can start to see uh, traffic coming through. And the beauty about it is you'll also be able to see the, how far people are coming down the funnel, especially if uh, you're adding sort of engagement options as well. So if I just show you one that we've actually done before, 
we actually won't be able to click through. Uh, so that's a bad example, actually. This one here. Because you'll be sending them a lot of sort of messages, you actually want to make sure they are replying back in. We actually asked them a question halfway through and you could see how many people click through to the, the secondary flows, if you like. So you can actually see how far people are coming down your funnel. And once you've got a decent number of subscribers to your bot, you can then evaluate whether you need to make the funnel shorter, where are people dropping off, are there any issues, uh, etc. We've actually got an offer at the moment to set up your, your welcome bot for free. If, it's, if this is something you'd like, please leave a comment below. Uh, and I should be able to add a link to, to where you can sign up as well. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Just to add, if you do have any questions on this, just uh, leave a comment also in the, in the comments box and we'll, we'll get back to you as well. Thanks. Bye.